This is my uh, Siegel Coastline Cedar S12. Um, I do not have a date of production. I am currently in contact with Siegel to see if they can provide it uh, with the serial number. Um, so I only picked this up a couple weeks ago and I figured I'd take a video of it because some of the videos on YouTube are a little bit old and don't really show a lot. Um, so the top on this is a solid pressure treated cedar. You can kind of see the grain and the, and the figuring on here. It's a, it's a really beautiful guitar. Um, the uh, pick guard seems to have been shrunken, shrinking from the top, so that's gonna have to be replaced. Uh, but like this is the uh, stock um, stock pick guard, and it's it's quite a pretty tortoise shell pattern on it. So uh, this guitar, I, I estimated, pro it's probably about ten years old. Uh, but here's the uh, Seagull headstock. Uh, the tuners uh, are all are all closed back tuners. Though I've only had this for a couple weeks, uh, the stability of tuning on this thing is pretty good. Um, we have a rosewood fretboard on it, as well as a rosewood bridge. And the uh, nut and saddle are both uh, made out of a material called tusk, so I, I believe it's kind of like a, a fake ivory. Uh, so like I said, the top is a pressure treated solid cedar top, and then the back and sides are uh, wild cherry. So. Got some beautiful figuring on the sides. And we have some beautiful. Ooh. Jeez. So like I mentioned, the uh, top was a pressure treated uh, solid cedar. And the back and sides are a natural wild cherry. So we have some beautiful figuring, nice dark, dark color on it. Um, this guitar sounds awesome. Uh, you know, it, like I said, it holds its tuning very well. It's very rich, it's very loud. Um, we have a silver silver maple neck on it, uh, and it's uh, three pieces, I believe, one, two, and then the headstock is split. Here's a better look at the tuners. Uh, they're closed back. Um, yeah, so I've had this for a couple weeks. It's, uh, it's a very nice guitar. Uh, it's very loud, it's very, it's very uh, tonal and uh, if you can find a good deal on one, you can pick it up. I'd suggest it. Um, this one, like I said, I believe it's about 10 years old. We have no lifting on the saddle. The top is extremely flat, um, as you can see here. And uh, the action is pretty good all the way up. Uh, it seems like this one has been in a case uh, since the guy bought it and he's had a, like a humidity pack in it. It also has uh, an electronic system inside, so it's got a a pickup and a preamp, uh, so volume and tone, and then the battery pack is up in there. Uh, unfortunately, this model doesn't have a tuner built in. Uh, that'd be a bit nicer for tuning. Uh, but yeah, this is a this is a great piece. I picked it up for three hundred and fifty dollars Canadian, and it's in uh, awesome shape. Um, so there's a little more info. I'll put some pictures and a, a playing video up as well. But uh, let me know if you have any other questions or if you'd like me to take more pictures or what have you but this is just for information out there and there's a look at the uh the label inside thanks bye